I now recognize Mr. Luttrell for uh, the gentleman from Texas for his five minutes question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Thank you all for coming here today. Mr. Bowman, I, I appreciate and respect your opening statements where it's probably the most educated I've been on where it comes to constitution, constitutional law and the process that we're in right now. So thank you for, for that education. Uh, qu I have my first question for you, sir, is can you give me the definition of a high crime and misdemeanor? I think no single definition is satisfactory in every case, but I think Charles Black's is a pretty good general statement. That is to say, high crimes and misdemeanors should be ex extremely serious offenses in the way that uh, serious crimes like treason and bribery extremely are. Extremely serious. So Second, from, from that, from that I, I, let, me, let me go off of that one, sir. That's a great point. In is some, the selling of fentanyl inside the United States causing hundreds of thousands of deaths over the past years considered a high crime in your opinion? I'm unaware that the secretary has sold any fentanyl. No, 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 I'm not directing that to the secretary. I'm asking you, is the selling of fentanyl inside the United States killing hundreds of thousands of Americans over the years, considered, would be, that be considered a high crime? If you could establish that. Boy, that's a yes officer, answer all day long. You if you don't say yes, that's, that's bad, that's bad juju. that, possibly. All right, so let me ask I'm you this aware of one. no evidence that's, that that ever happened. There's, there's, no, there's no evidence that hundreds of thousands of people over the past few years have died from fentanyl overdoses? I'm unaware of any evidence that Secretary Mayorkas has ever sold. I, so I'm not talking about Secretary Mayorkas. I'm talking about but fentanyl. That's what we're America. here to talk about, are we not, Congressman? Well, can, Secretary if, if Mayorkas? If you'll allow me to finish, if you'll answer my question, I'm getting my point. It's your time, so you can, with you know... All right, yeah. so let me ask you this, since we're, un, we're unhinged on the fentanyl deaths, do you consider slavery a high crime? Is there any evidence that Secretary Mayorkas has enslaved anyone? This is getting a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. I want to know if I'm supposed to go back to the folks in my district and tell them that the individual responsible for securing the American borders is falling short because the United States is one of the top countries on the planet for sex slaves. We lose 100,000 people a year to fentanyl overdoses, and the individual responsible for protecting us is Mr. Mayorkas. That's where I'm going with that. The fact that you didn't jump on top of and say that those things were absolutely voluntary, the worst things ever, is graphically disturbing to me. I pitched that one up as a softball, buddy, and you failed miserably. <clears throat> I'm from Texas. I feel this every day. And my colleagues and I, we have our disagreements, and I went down to the border with, my, with the other Republicans. I didn't have a polo on. I didn't get behind the podium. I talked to everybody down there that works down there. I talked to the ranchers, the citizens, and they tell me every single day that we are overwhelmed. And Ms. Titus brought up an amazing point. Yes, if we move, remove Mr. Mayorkas, Mr. Biden will put another Democratic member in that spot. We know that. I'm here for this reason. I'm sending a message that my people can no longer take it. We are dying by the droves. Every year I have to look at the mothers. I look at the mothers and fathers that lost their kids. I look at them every single day when I'm out in the district. And it's all coming across our southern border. Through the ports of entry, yes, I got it. But if you're responsible for securing our, our borders, then you better act like it. And this individual is not, and that is the problem, sir. Period, in a discussion. These atrocities that we are seeing, you can't explain. 40 million people are enslaved on the planet. 40 million. And America is leading up top with that problem. And you ask where they come from, they come across our southern border and our northern border. And that, sir, is the responsibility of the secretary. And since he has failed to conduct his job for the past few years, we need somebody else. Now, I'm not, I'm Mr. Mayorkas, I, I've chatted him up. He is a family man, he's a good man. And I'm gonna be crucified going back home and saying that. I've spoken to face to face. -to -face. And I, he, he, I, I bet he adamantly disagree, would disagree on the fact that yeah, slavery is a, horrible. The fentanyl deaths are horrible. But there was a mother sitting in front of this committee 
months ago, last year, and sat there and looked at every single one of us. She lost her mother and her daughter to a coyote running through the town. Killed them both. She had, to, she had to stand there in the emergency room while her daughter died. She looked us all in the face and said, you guys are absolutely doing nothing. You're doing nothing. So when we go to Mr. Mayorkas and say, hey, we need to act on this, and nothing's happening, sir, that is an absolute problem. I yield back.